You know, I'm responding to that original uh, video that I made about the Hodge twins. It's really, I don't know why I should be astonished, but the hateful comments that was coming from his legion of followers fascinated me. You know, I started, I've been in this business over 60 years. I was the first man in the world to develop 21 inch arms before steroids in the 50s and the late 60s, in the middle 60s. Now, the point simply is all my life, I only thought of one thing informing. That was my core, informing and helping. I never wanted to make a comedy out of this. To me, it was too serious. I devoted my entire life to this. When I tell you something, I know it works from experience, from all of the up-and-coming bodybuilders that worked out with me and tried and proven methods of training, not just blabbing off at the mouth. Now, these two fellas I recall to simply because I couldn't relate to not being informative. Do what the fuck you want and all that kind of... It, it, see, it, I must admit, I'm from the old school and I'm going to stay from the old school because I have only one goal, and that is to help inform you to see what bodybuilding is like and do it for the best of your health, not playing games and do what the fuck you want. If you if, what in the, if you do what the fuck you want, why you bother listening to these guys? I mean, I understand where they're coming from. But what gets me is the hateful comments from the people that feel threatened. They want to believe. They're comfort thinkers. They sit back and enjoy these two guys that are making, or I consider fools out of people, and making a fortune. Hey, I don't blame them. There's never, people have not, there's, people don't go broke underestimating intelligent American people. Nobody's gone broke underestimating, and there's a lot of them out there. It's the difference is, I don't come from that school. I come from the school, this is my life. This means more than, hey, I, was, I started this when I was 11. It's part of me. It's part of me, everything. I mean, it's just part of my soul. And to play around with guys that are serious, people that really want to build their bodies, people that really want to be informed and make a joke out of it. And young boys is coming up that don't have an idea about bodybuilding, and they listen to these clowns, and they say, wow. And they make they, so many things that they, I can't listen to I'm going to tell you the truth. The only reason I ever heard of them is because people have come and say, have you heard the hard things? I look at them almost want to throw up. But it's not them. It's the people that follow them. And they're so threatened because they feel so comfortable listening to these guys they're threatened by what I say. So they call me all kinds of names, hateful names. You know, anybody that responds to what I say with hate is because they're threatened. They're weasels. They have no brain of their own, and I threaten their comfort, their comfort thinkers. And you'll never go anywhere comforting your mind instead of opening your mind. And I'm here to open your mind. I want you to think. I don't want you to play it. Now, if you want to be entertained, you know, they've got plenty of comedy clubs. But if you want real information from people that spent their lives in this game, then I, listen, listen to me. Because I'm not going to tell you something to play with your head. I'm going to tell you something to hurt you, to help you. I was the first man to develop a 21-inch arm. And you know something? Instead of listening to these guys, you know they never mentioned me because I have a history. The first man in the world to develop a 21-inch arm when it was unheard of, when it was considered impossible, when it was considered beyond the capacity of the human body to maintain arms that side. These guys come in with lifeguard bodies and they got all the damn answers. No experience, no nothing but playing with the public. Hey, I'm not knocking them, I'm knocking the followers. But you see something, my biggest mistake is, you can tell people horse shit is chocolate pudding and they've they gotten by horseshit. That's how, it's a, there's a following for everything. What bothers me is that this is my life, and I just hate to see valuable time wasted, really, with bodybuilders following the likes of these guys. And the things that hurt me the most, that they're not willing to listen to me. They're not listening to, listen to the truth, because they're comfortable listening to this guy. So, of course, I'm the worst human being in the world. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm the best thing ever happened to your ass, to be honest with you. Because whatever you think, I'm telling you facts that work. 
I'm an example of things that work and without the steroids. And all you so-called guys that come along, oh, he took steroids. Look, let me tell you something. I would have taken steroids if they were available, but I got hurt in my early career. And, I, and it didn't make sense for me to take steroids because I couldn't compete any longer. And if you look at my website, you'll see where I'm coming from. But I'm here to help you. That's what I'm here for. And they're afraid to mention, as you notice, they say that, oh, black folks, they're, because they're afraid to mention me, because they're afraid that you may look me up and find out that they're joke compared to me. A goddamn joke. And you know, I hate it. <laughs> I shouldn't get excited like this. I ought to this is what happens when you get old, you know. But I mean, when you spend your damn life trying to help, I spend hours with guys, give them step by step, they tell me they have problems digesting protein. Have no idea that they need more enzymes. They tell me they have problems with energy because they don't take enough carbs. You've got to have carbs to maximize your use of energy. These are things that I, the maximum, matter of fact, not to maximize, uh, you know, sometimes I get so excited that I, uh, <laughs> that I, uh, <laughs> my words <laughs> jump on my mind is working faster than my mouth. It's in, it, I think it's out when it's not out. But in any case, I'm here to help. Now, they have their thing. If you want to be entertained, if you want to make a mockery at a bodybuilding, and you think it's a game, then fine. But if you want information, you go to people that have the experience and people that have a background. And these guys, I noticed, I've heard a few of my friends come in and say, uh, they mention you, but they, they don't mention me. They're afraid for you to look me up. They're afraid for you to see the difference of what I'm offering and what they're offering. The old black fool sitting behind the vitamins. But I tell you something, more of you should see that old black fool sitting behind the vitamins. Look up his website and see where that old black fool sitting behind the vitamins is. See Arnold, Schwarzenegger, all these guys that came after me, what how they look up to me. They look up to me because I accomplished something. These guys accomplished making bucks on the internet with people that are brainless as far as I'm concerned. They don't want the truth. The truth threatened them. Now they were so comfortable with these hard fellas. And then I come along. So something's wrong with me, not them. But I tell you something. You can rest assured, I, it fascinates me, you know. Because they never mention my name. Because they're afraid that if you saw my name, you would say, oh shit, he's somebody. He's done something. What does these guys do but make a mockery out of it? That's the difference between them and me. So all I'm saying to you is know your history. Come to the conclusion you want. But when all I, I want you to know, I'm here to help, not to play. I'm not a game player. And I tell you something, I could be very much more wealthy. They're probably making more, a lot more money than me because they know there's more assholes out there than there are people that are stable. If, if you want comedy, that ain't the place to get comedy. They try to mix a little bit of fact with comedy, and nobody knows where they're coming from. And, if, and you know, there's so many new guys in this. That's what gets me, that they have no idea what's going on. And they listen to these guys and think these guys have some fact. I hear them knocking arginine. Arginine is a proven factor. It's not a joke. Gluten means proven. And you're going to listen to guys that never done a damn thing in their mouth and their lives that you can think of, haven't made any kind of mark on anything except they're making a lot of money with their cult followers that are semi-brain dead, if you ask me. If you listen to them for comedy, fine. But if you listen for information, something that's going to propel you to do better in your athletic career, they're not the ones, believe me. And I, I, the only reason I'm saying this because I see these hateful I mean, the way they're attacking me fascinates me. You think I was involved in killing Jesus, the way these people attack me. And I'm saying, how could you be that damn dumb? Why are you attacking me? See where I'm coming from. See why I'm acting at these guys. I'm not actually, let me tell you, I'm not against these hard fellas. I mean, they, are, they found out how to make a buck. I can't do that. It's not me. I give guys an hour, hour and a half for nothing. Step by step. Not that I'm some philanthropist or some uh, holy fellow or something. It's just that I enjoy so much helping.
loving guys and watching them respond and watching them shaking my Thank you, Leroy. That's what I enjoy. I don't know. Uh, now, uh, why could you go on, on, on the Internet and bullshit people make a fortune? It's not in me. I don't condemn people that, like these hard people. It's just a shame that what they're doing is they're keeping people that are serious from progressing because they're being bamboozled by these guys that they don't ask from John Eller. And you know, if you notice, they never mention my name. They're some old black fella, like some, some feeble guy is talking because they know you may look up and find out, hey, this old black fella's got something going. So that's what I want to say, and I hope you guys understand it. The thing that triggered me was some of the comments. I just couldn't believe I should die. Can you imagine a person? I, I don't. There's a lot of sick people out there. I shouldn't be saying that. There's a lot of sickos. But because I am talking about something that helped you and attack the comfort of their mind, I should be killed. It fascinates me. Because in this game, we don't have people looking to kill. We have people looking to learn. And that's what I'm here for, to teach. Hallelujah.